Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Swords and Serpents. I am your host, Melee Wizard, and I have gotten back to where that teleporter was in level 2. Along the way, I went ahead and healed myself at the temple and got rid of all of my junk, and I did uh, switch a little bit of my gear. I swapped out John's helmet and gave it to Rose so that she can get a bit of defense. And I would like to point out that in that spells line for Rose, there's that plus 20. Whenever someone's life or spells gets above 20, it that 20 gets condensed down to that plus 20 marker. And I think that's a really cool thing because it otherwise, without outright checking your stats, you really wouldn't really know exactly how much life or spells you have left. So, anyway, let's move on through level 2 here. Just go ahead and head down to the south, and we have this lovely winding corridor here. And, yep, we got some more spiders here. Yep, and I guess Rose is now at 20, an even 20. Alright, so moving on. Even more winding, and a soldier that is quickly dispatched. A leather that's completely useless, and four goblins. I believe this is a scripted fight, because goodness knows before now, there has not, aside from that one group of six soldiers back in level one, there, this is the biggest group of enemies we've had to face so far. And oh boy, I am not paying attention, I need to heal Jade again. There we go, alright. And, yep, stairway going down. And this is where the game really picks up. The levels 1 and 2 are rather simple. That lets you get into the swing of things, explains like the temples, the armories, what the teleporters and zoom tubes do. Level 3 is where things really get serious. Where the enemies in this, you have a whole new slew of enemies, like this ghost here, and these enemies hit a, they are a lot tougher than in levels 1 and 2. They hit a lot harder, and yeah, it makes me wonder if I can actually get through this level in one shot. So, no way to find out except to try it, and so, welcome to Threshold, which kind of explains what I was just talking about. And we have another a green bat this time. And go ahead and heal Rose. There we go. Broadsword, which is uh, not a bad weapon, but I already have stuff that's better. And yeah, see, that's the kind of thing I was talking about. Like, those ghosts in particular, they hit you hard. In fact, I'm going to heal Rose twice. There we go. Okay, I think having the great sword and the wizard's wand has helped me a great deal there. Because I have already have the plus one sword, but getting the other two weapons, that, I think, that is doing me a lot of good right now. Whiff, 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 dang it. There we go. <sighs> dang it. And we have more zombies. Yay. Frankly, I think those ghosts are probably the biggest threat in this level by a wide margin. But the other enemies in this level are no slouch either. Go ahead and heal Rose. I'm going to go ahead and heal Dave too. Oh, and locked doors have remote triggers. Yeah. Here we, in this small room that has four doors in it. And... Three of these doors are locked, painfully it seems. This one is the only one that is unlocked right now. And this section of the level has four rooms in it. And the door's not on this side. Here we are. And more ghosts. Great. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Seriously? Oh, man. I hate these constant random battles here. Really? Three battles in a row? 
quite a feeling that was planned that way. And we're at level 5, alright. And there we have a horseshoe. Yeah. A horseshoe. You, we'll find out what that's for later on. And, oh dang it. Seriously? Oh boy. Um, no, I'm going to have Jade heal, so... Spare Rose some of those spell points. And heal Dave, too, while I'm at it. Alright. More bats. Great. Oh, no. Okay, alright. That's good. That's good. And there we have this room. To avoid the traps to the northeast. Stay near the walls. Lovely. And then we have that little passageway that has a zoom tube back to level 1. That's... I might be taking advantage of that later on. And in this room we have the door trigger. And a blue goblin this time. This one does not do a double hit like the green... Oh, okay, it does. Never mind. I, I thought the blue ones didn't. I guess it was the other ones. Because there are some levels that have two different types of zombies. And that room has nothing in it, so I'm not even going to bother. And the door that was locked is this one. And more goblins. Okay. Oh, boy. Huh? Back to more healing. Healing John and Jade real quick. I hope I get to the end of this level without running out of magic, because I really don't want to have to go back to level 1. Eh, that's fine for now. So just hit straight west. Come up this way. And come down here and have a door trigger. And also we come up to the northwest corner and we have the spell Deadeye. Ah, I believe that spell imp improves... Oh, we have wizards now. These guys tend to... They are a real pain, mostly because they tend to hit... They do double hits as well. Oh, these are the quad ones. Lovely. These guys will hit your, your entire party all at once. Eh, <sighs> great. So for these guys, it's either one or all. And that's a major pain. And I hope I can get Jade healed. Yes, alright. Like I said, the Deadeye is a single target spell that improves a party member's accuracy. At least that, or so I believe. Frankly, it's kind of hard to tell in a game like this. Come on! I hate these wizards so much! No, 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 no! Oh, it didn't damage Jade, at least. Alright! Ah, now I'm gonna heal, be healing everybody! And hope my... Hope I don't run out of spells. John and a heal for Jade. All right, I'm not feeling confident about how little spells I've got left. Oh, and we got Samurai in blue this time. After those gar after those wizards, I'll take these soldiers any day. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna heal Dave again. Heal Dave. Alright, now we're going to this bottom one, which is a long corkscrewing path that has more stupid wizards in it. Eh. Don't Okay, good, good, good. And an axe. Great. Because that's really the reward I want to get for killing these things. 
Oh uh, boy. Ah, come on, heal John. And heal Jade. Oh boy. Am I actually going to be running from these, some of these fights? Because I really don't want to do that. Might be something to demonstrate one of these times, but... Okay. Oh man, I got, I got lucky there. I know I got lucky. It didn't take a whole lot of damage from those ghosts, but I'm going to heal Jade again just because I'm feeling paranoid right now. Because this is a long, corkscrewing corridor that just goes around and around and around, and goodness knows how many fights I'm going to be having between here where I'm going and on the way back. Considering I probably only have, what, five spells on me right now. Yeah, I am not... Please let me live through this, please! Uh. Just kill him quickly, yes, thank you, yes! Helmet. Okay, I'm giving John another uh, his helmet back because yeah. Let's go ahead and give it to John or Jade. That works too. I'm actually yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let Jade keep it because I want my spellcasters to live. Darn it! Stupid goblin. It's nice that the helmets can be equipped by everybody. Alright, and we come to the end, and it's a dead end. Except it isn't. Ah, that was a secret door. And yeah, that's your first official in case of secret doors. And I have to work my way back all the way around here. And as long as I can come out with everyone alive, it'll be worth it. Okay, good. Good. I'm gonna heal John again. So, Rose and Jade have one spell left each. Wish me luck. Come on. Uh. No, 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 no. Actually... Yeah, I'm gonna demonstrate how to run. Just hit select and say all run. And this, what sucks is that everyone has to run individually. And go ahead and have Rose heal herself. And when you run, you end up shifting back one space, which can really suck because with with scripted battles, that battle doesn't go away. Okay, just kill the ghost. Which sounds redundant, but I don't care. Oh no! Please! Yes, thank you! Okay. Ah. Jade, heal John. I'm almost at the end. I'm almost at the end. Okay. You know what? I'm running from that one too. I'm not feeling safe right now with, with zero, zero magic left. Okay, and it's this last door here that has... Dang it, I'm running from here too. Because I want to live, darn you. Yep, and the traps that were spoken of? Yeah. It hurts to walk here, yeah, you think? And I would love to really take advantage of this right now, but since I'm out of magic, I can't. But there's something in this level that's right in front of me that is a saving grace. It is the magic fountain. And it heals, brings the, our magician's spells back to full. <sighs> Thank you for that. Thank you so much. Go ahead and heal Dave and John some, a little bit. And move in, and we've got a stairway going down into level 4. And that's a good spot to stop for now. So until next time, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.